Today I'm answering a question that was sent to me a couple weeks ago. And it goes like this. How can I bounce directly a track or more to a new track without having to go through the export audio mixdown? Lots of times during my session I need to bounce a track I heavily edited to a brand new clean track. And the only way I know how to do this is to export it through audio mixdown and then import it back to a new track. Is there an easier way to do this? Yes, there is. I'm gonna show you an easy way to bounce your audio back in Cubase. Hey, what's going on, my friend? Chris here from Mixdown Online. So let's jump in Cubase so I can share with you that easy way to bounce your audio in Cubase. So what I have right here is a recording, a drum recording session. And like the person was asking, once you, uh, you've you done editing your events, like in this case, for example, if I, if I have that track recording uh, fully edited and I'm happy with the result and I just wanna bounce that and consolidate all of those events into one single event on a track in Cubase, there's a very easy way, okay, to do this. What I'm gonna do here is very, very simple. I'm gonna select them all and I'm gonna click on audio and go down to bounce selection. Or you can set yourself up a shortcut like I did and mine is set up to Y. Then I'm gonna see that window um, asking me if I wanna replace those events. I'm gonna say replace and it's gonna create brand new audio events and place them directly on the same tracks. So this way I have clean consolidated events on the same tracks. So that is a very, very easy way to bounce audio in Cubase. Now this will not bounce the effects uh, that you have inserted on those tracks, if any, okay? And this will not take into consideration the fader level as well. Now we're only talking about the audio events. So if you have some clip gain going on, it will take that into consideration. If you have some crossfades, you chopped a few, uh, a few events around, you wanna consolidate everything together, this is what it's made for. Or if you have an event um, that has an offline processing effect, that effect will also be bound. So let me give you an example here. Um, let's take this guitar line right here. Okay, now I'm gonna bypass the inserted effects. Okay, I'm just gonna clip gain that to have more gain. Okay, I'm gonna click on F7, and that will bring up the direct offline processing. Um, and let's add, I don't know, a, a delay of some sort. So let's go with the sound toys, a little plate. No, that's the reverb. Yeah, let's, let's keep the reverb. This is only for the example. All right, so now let's say I'm happy with this and I just wanna consolidate everything, bounce the entire track back into this session. It can be all of the events all together or it can be only that one event. So let's say I just need that one event to be bounced back. I'm gonna click on uh, Y in my case, which is the bounce selection shortcut that I set up myself. Click on replace and there you go. So now, um, my uh, my clip gain and my effect has been bounced back into Cubase. Okay, if I go back to direct offline processing, now this window is now empty. And if I wanna bounce everything back into a new track, all the events of the same channel, I, again, I just click on my a bounce selection shortcut, replace, and there you go. Okay, so this is the very fast way to do so. I'm just gonna go back now. Now, if you wanna bounce your inserted effects um, and bounce that back to a new track, now you'll have to go through the, um, the export audio mix down. Um, you select if you want your track to be uh, stereo or mono, uh, select the audio output format, and then what you need to do is to click on pool in the add to project section here on the right side. You click on pool and audio track, and then you're gonna perform the audio export. And that will create, I'm just gonna do it right now, Wave 4824, uh, which is my 
settings. Um, there you go, perform, audio, mix down. And it will render and export back into Cubase that track. And there you go, okay. Uh, but now, when you do this, when you export, uh, when you use the audio mix down uh, panel, you need to set up your left and right locators on top. Uh, you can also do this to only the size of one event. You click on your event and you click on the letter P and that will uh, set up the left and right locators so you can export only that part of your track. Something that can also be done is to use the render in place function. Um, so let's say I just want to use, I just want to render that event only and with the inserts, what I can do is select that event, go into edit, render in place, and I'm going to click on render settings. I'm going to name my track, uh, guitar effects and uh, complete signal path. If I want to have also the master effects, if I have some, I can just click on complete signal, signal path plus effects. Uh, master effects uh, but I'm just going to click on complete signal path now that will take in consideration the uh, fader level the inserts sends um, and so on so I'm going to click on render and there you go now I have uh, a stereo event this time bounced back into on a new track back in my session okay that is uh, printed all the way through and also if I go back and listen to the original it's the same thing okay but this time the send effects and inserted effects has been bounced as well so there you go my friends this is going to be it for today's video I hope that was helpful if so don't forget to share and to like this video. And also, if this is your first time here on the channel, click on the subscribe button below and the notification bell so you don't miss anything. And again, if you have any questions or comments, please leave everything down in the comments section below. All right, my friends, have a nice one. I'm going to see you next time. Salut.